Hello friends, welcome back to our data science interview practice questionnaire and today we are going to look into a set of 10 questions but this will be a non-technical round. As a data scientist, it is important to not only understand the technical aspect of solving a problem but also you should be familiar with the domain and the non-technical side of it as well. So let's begin. In marketing analytics, why do you think spine charts are used to analyze data? What is the importance of a spine chart? Question two, what is the purpose of conjoint analysis? This is a very important uh, technique in marketing analytics. Third, DSWP is an audio equipment company and they are planning to target new customers to whom they can sell their new earphones. They have collected demographic, behavioral, psychographic, previous transaction data. So which model would you build for them? Fourth, say you work for a company where in order to increase sales of a product, they have plans to promote it by offering free movie tickets and or VR sets. In this context, what would sequential hypothesis testing do? Fifth, as a data scientist, you have to convert business problem into machine learning problem, which comes from, of course, mathematical logics. So say your company wants to find whether people would like to purchase their products online or in store. So which function would you use? Logit or sigmoid or linear or quadratic function? Sixth, a product-based company always looks to build new products. However, a product manager has to consider a lot of variables to determine what should be a new product be, what would be its features, the market segment, what would be the price of that product, and many other variables. So which method can you suggest? Logit or conjoint or multidimensional scaling? Seventh, you have a new machine learning problem. So, while data preparation, do you need a subject matter expert or domain expert in that stage? Is it necessary to involve a, such a professional? 8. Can you explain the type 1 and type 2 error in plain English? 9. Can you explain the difference between false positive and true negative with a real world example? False positive and true negative comes from confusion matrix. Tenth, what does it mean by there is a correlation but no causal relationship? It's a common question that would arise in often data science interviews. So please provide your answer with an example. So I hope you got some idea about the non-technical questions that are being asked in a data science interview. So now you got an angle to prepare. All right, all the best. And thanks for watching.